Hello, this is Ikibik, and my Venusaur is level 35 on another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy Color. I'm going to switch my Venusaur out to my Pikachu to take on this Bird Keeper. So, of course, Pikachu with its... Ah, zero Thunderbolts. That was a mistake, viewers. Whoops. I sent out my Pikachu, who is super effective against um, Flying-type Pokemon, as you all well know. However, the slight mistake I have made in this particular instance was that he has no PP for his Thunderbolt technique. Thunderbolt, of course, being super effective against Flying-type Pokemon, being an Electric-type move. Yeah, so, whoops. Yo, a Pokemon can never, ever, ever forget a HF move. Uh oh, and I'm fighting up against another bird keeper. Exciting stuff, viewers. Well, he's gonna send a Pidgey. Hmm. Do I keep my Venusaur out there? Why the hell not? Hmm. Even though he's flying Pokemon have a resistance against my Venusaur, Razor Leaf does quite a lot of damage, especially with its glitched. Um, 100% critical hit rate, so yeah, keep on using it. Yeah, Venusaur is infinitely better with Razor Leaf, like before when it only had Vine Whip, Poison Powder, Leech Seed, etc. Venusaur, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, they weren't that useful in terms of their weak moves, so, you know, a good moveset makes all the difference, viewers. You know, once my, you know, Charizard actually has useful moves, maybe I'll use him more. Or her, not to be, you know, gender biased there, viewers. But, you know, it's a goddamn Charizard, so what could I do? Alright, so that Pidgey has fainted. As I get some more pretzels to continue eating while I'm doing this. Ooh, he's gonna send out a Fero. Hmm. Fero. Ah, I'll keep my Venusaur. Going to switch my Pidgeot, but ah, why not? Let's we'll take on this Fero. You'll notice, viewers, that the Pokemon here are very weak in regards to those trainers I've already defeated in Saffron City. I guess the original intention was that you go all the way to Fuchsia City before going to Saffron City, but nobody I know who's ever played this game ever like did Fuchsia City first, then did um. Saffron City, everyone just took on Saffron City when I can. The only problem was if Sabrina had a little 50 out, cause damn. God damn, you know. Ah, it's good copy. Alright, let's keep on, and looks like we have ourselves another bird keeper. If I stop walking around randomly. Yes, TMs are indeed on sale on Celadon. Mm. Well, gotta catch them all. That's the HMs, that is, viewers. Hmm. Alright, the Bird Keeper wants to fight, so he sends out his Pidgey Odo. Well, you know, there's a lot of Bird Keepers, viewers, and my Pikachu has no lightning attacks left. Hmm. Oh. Good, good pretzels and good coffee, viewers. Yum. These pretzels are a little stale. But they make you thirsty, so you have to drink coffee. Well, there's a certain taste to like stale pretzels that you just gotta enjoy. As I defeat that Pidgeotto. Okay, so let's keep on moving along as we're about to face the Fero. Uh, indecision time, 2012. Alright. Let's hit him up with a razor leaf, but he missed, he missed, he missed. Ah oh, man, why you gotta growl like that? Damn it, Venusaur. Ah. Uh, taking damage. Now we gotta send out razor leaf. And I hit that Fero hard, and it's a critical. Hey, yeah, um, mm, come on. Yeah. Some of these 
episode has been a little boring lately, viewers. It's just this is a boring stretch of the game. I mean, there's only like trainer battles, heading towards Future City. Not much you can do, really, until you get to Future City. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do while you're at Future City. But there's a lot of trainer battles, and you're supposed to probably train your Pokemon at this part of the game. Because, as you know, viewers, um, trainer battles give you far more experience than a normal, regular wild Pokemon battle as I level up to level 36, my Venusaur. Yeah. Woo. Alright, five and a half minutes into this episode of the Let's Play, and I've barely made any progress. Well, how come you only use normal type moves? Oh, wait, it's because normal type is also flying type. I indeed have taught my bird type Pokemon how to fly. What bird is that on the bird keeper's hand anyway? It's weird. What is that? Ah. Comment if you know what it is, viewers. Ah. Alright. Let's keep going. I really, really cannot wait to get this Let's Play finished, viewers. I've recorded all the episodes ahead of time, I just gotta go ahead with the commentary and the uploading process. I'm uploading them in bulk, but what I'm doing, viewers, is actually, when I upload an episode, I hide it. It's from public listings, so then when I actually publish that episode, I just change its status from um, unlisted to public. Uh, the problem I had with that was I had a particular issue with episode 30, so that means I couldn't add episodes 31 to 40, until I added episode 30, so I had to re-export episode 30, that didn't work. So I had to delete level 30 off my hard drive, and then copy it over. There was a lot of unnecessary trials and tribulations for that, for just uh, basically not copying an episode properly. But it was fixed, I uploaded the episodes, and if you're watching this, and you should have been watching all the other Let's Play episodes of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow version for the Game Boy Color. Yeah. I mean, these videos are making their way up the YouTube search, so if you search for, like, Pokemon Yellow version, etc., you would find these episodes. Don't know which episodes appear where, they're all different types, targeted at different things, all part of my, you know, SEO experience, just smart tagging of titles and backlinking of episodes, which I don't know if I've done yet or not. But, yeah. Trust me, viewers, these episodes will get a lot of views and a lot of participation hopefully yeah I'm making it for you though viewers I mean it's entirely a hobby so you know I'm not making this for profit I am not Team Rocket we do not get paid for the Let's Play episodes because that would be illegal yeah Pokemon would sue me <laughs> and why did I cast Mega Drain on a poison type Pokemon with Well, since I've already done one, I might as well keep on going and just heal up my Venusaur! <sighs> it would be infinitely more effective if I used my Mega Drain on a Pokemon that A has low special and B was not resistant to grass type techniques. And we have Muxo Mega Drain! Ha 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 ha! Your poison cannot affect me! Seems a little weird. Ah, you disabled my Mega Drains, making your own doom! For an attack that's more powerful, that's more effective! Ha ha ha! man! Hmm. Good pretzels, viewers. Really wish you could have these pretzels I'm eating right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got 580 for winning. Uh, mine is right. Okie dokie. A legendary Pokemon? There you speak of their names. Do you have any legendary Pokemon? You only have one Pokemon, and that's Farfetch, which is Farfetch of being a legendary Pokemon. 
No Review is in fact Farfetch is one of the worst Pokemon in any of the versions of the game. In fact, it's a terrible Pokemon statistically. I mean, it's absolutely horrific. I have no idea why it even is a Pokemon. It doesn't evolve, it doesn't have baby pipe Pokemon, has a limited moveset, low in every single statistical category. It is terrible. I mean, at least the Magikarp is fast. I mean, the Magikarp has very good speed. Maybe weak as all hell, but you can sweep with a Magikarp. I'd like to see you sweep with a Farfetch. Yep, as I continue to blow in the mic and ruin your Let's Play experience. Na 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 na, pika pika. Alright, let's switch this to my Charizard. I have a nice little even level distribution viewers for my Pokemon party as it stands right now. Alright, there's a hell of a lot more trainers take on. In fact, there's a lot of trainers in the next few areas. It's going to be a really annoying part of the game. But I'm going to take them on because my Pokemon needs the leveling. They need to be stronger. I mean, Future City, the gym there is a hell of a lot easier than the gym at Saffron City in terms of levels and the type of Pokemon you're facing. But, you know, you can always be wary because, you know, Sabrina's awesome. But she but she had Abra to start with, so you can, stra you can strategize. Mm, good pretzels. You can strategize about her, basically. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we have now a Grimer that I'm just gonna slash to death. Uh, it's nothing more annoying when you slash a Pokemon and it doesn't destroy it, you know? I mean, slashing is a good move, don't get me wrong, really. And Charizard is a strong Pokemon, but come on, man. Make your money. Right. Okay. Well, I need to burn some time as well to keep my loyal Let's Play viewers engaged in my view videos. View videos. Alright, so let's see what, what Grimer has for us. Let's another Grimer, another Slash. Yep, and that Grimer is fainted as we take on... What, another Grimer? Gee, man. I mean, it's not even a challenge, you know? <laughs> Alright, good job with that. And a coffee. Oof. Alright, and um, Copping has a pretty good defense, so it will uh, take, still take two slashes to beat her. Nothing too special. Yeah, anyway. Alright, so we defeated the Biker. Alright, so we have another about two minutes or so left on this. Let's play viewers, so... Let's keep heading away. Alright. And another battle. Alright, so we have a top being. Alright, so two slashes, level 26. The map. Oh, one slash for level 26 copying. I think it was level 28 that required two. Oh uh, yeah, how do you like me now? So I was at level 38. Still hasn't learned any really cool moves yet up in the Slash. Speaking of Slash, let's use it one more time. Now, mm -hmm. nah, I'll keep out my child's eyes. Oh, that was a relatively easy battle. Ah, oh, one more. I must have missed that one. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, I want to save my PP, so I'll just use the Amber. Use Amber again. Yeah. Oh, I am. Cool. 
Oh, well, I guess this will do it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow 4D Game Boy Color. I have been Inkovic, and you viewers have been a thin slice of heaven. Thank you for watching, and tune in next time. Bye-bye.